Hey guys, this is Alan. Uh, back to talk a little bit more about linear systems and specifically in this video we're going to address the idea of two-port uh, two port theory. When we talk about two-port theory we're going to focus on two-port equivalent circuit models. Um, so what does that mean and why do we use it? Well, most electrical and electronic circuits can be modeled as two-port networks having two sets of terminals. One of them is the, the input, I'm sorry, um, yeah, two sets of terminals, uh, the input and the output. One of the terminal pairs is the input port to which a known signal voltage or current is applied and then the response to that input signal is can be a voltage or a current, uh, whichever one we're interested in, is, uh, is at the output port. If the output response is proportional to the input value, meaning that like if you if you double the input value, the output value also double. If if that happens within a reasonable range, then the response is a linear response. Um, there are three major types. Before we get forward, there, there are three types of two-port models that are commonly used to simplify linear networks or linear circuits. And those three models are the impedance model, the admittance model, and the hybrid model. And we're going to take a look at, at each of those in the, the upcoming slides. And hopefully that will clarify your understanding of two-port models. Model performance is described by performance equations that are based on linear combinations of specific model parameters. And the equations and parameters are summarized in your FE handbook, which is going to take some time to, to go over, and it's not something that you'll want to try to memorize, but you need to make sure that you take the time to look at them, and they're, they're shown here. This is for the two-port impedance model, and the, remember the impedance is, model is one of three major ones that we'll be looking at, and here are the equations for the impedance model parameters and you can see here that you know, with Z11 and Z12, Z21 and Z22 those are all those all represent impedance. You'll see that Z equals voltage over current and we're used to seeing that as resistance or or impedance and we're using the Z here for impedance. Let's go to the next slide these are the two-port impedance equivalent circuits. On the left side, you see the active equivalent circuit. And on the right side, you see the passive equivalent circuit. All right, next we have the two-port admittance model. And admittance is the inverse of impedance. So you'll see here that Y, the symbol for admittance, uh, equals the current over the voltage. So we've we've simply flipped our voltage and our current, and we've got the important equations here for calculating the parameters in the two-port admittance model. To the right, you can see on the top here that that, that there is a graphic for the input or forward transfer admittance, and then just under that you can see the output or reverse transfer admittance model. And here are the equivalent circuits for two-port admittance. On the left, you can see the active equivalent circuit. And on the right, you can see the passive equivalent circuit. And then the last of the, the common uh, two-port circuits or two-port circuit models is the hybrid model. And here you will have the input current and the output, sorry, the input voltage and output current are functions of the input current and the output voltage. And you can see there the important equations for the, the hybrid model. The H parameters, as they're known, H for hybrid, are admittances, impedances, and pure ratios. So you've got a mix of the admittances and the impedances, hence the, the term hybrid. 
In practice, these parameters can be determined by applying a known voltage at one port and measuring the voltage or the current at the other port. And of course, the parameter names are indicative of the measurements that we use to actually calculate them. So, as you're going through these, oh, we got one more here. We can actually show you the short circuit model and open circuit uh, models of the two port hybrid model parameters. And we've got the equations for calculating input impedance the forward current gain, the reverse voltage gain, and the output admittance. All right, I know this is, this is a lot of equations here. Uh, take time to get familiar with these equations in your FE handbook. You don't have to memorize them. They're going to be available to you in the handbook. Um, but just take some time to know when to use which one. And it really just comes down to what you're being asked for. I mean, you can see that we've got, we've got tons of equations here. And when you run into a particular model, you've got to be able to recognize which model it is and then refer to the proper equation depending on the information you have and what it is you're being asked. So hopefully this helps and good luck in your preparation for the FE.